that pretty girl with the Indian paintbrush. Uh-oh. What's, what's wrong? My hands are cold. <laughs> we forgot gloves. You just had a revelation right there. <laughs> well, you got pockets, sweetheart. You're going to be okay. Welcome to the elements of the mountains. <laughs> Welcome back to the Untamed Elements, y'all. Here on the channel, we are doing camping this week. Last night was kind of like spike camp. We got a really late, far, far drive from Texas to get up here into the mountains of Colorado. And I kind of just picked out an area once we got into a national forest that we could just pull over and camp. And that was safe and it was flat and all of that. Today, we're actually gonna be finding a camp with more resources where we can get water, so the goal this week is to, of course, enjoy the wilderness, breathe in that mountain air, enjoy each other as a family here, but also it is to teach our little girl about camping and the elements and wildlife. And the last time she was up here, she was two years old. She doesn't really remember a whole lot of it. We, uh, we were camping in a tent. It was very, very cold. There were a few nights I had to stuff her into my sleeping bag. It was so cold. But this year, we've got the overlanding camper, got the Opus, um, and we've got, Stephanie has created a really cool uh, list, a scavenger hunt, and we also have badges and prizes and all sorts of things to help make this fun and enjoyable. And you know what? OSG is probably going to learn a couple things. Maybe you guys will learn some things. I'm probably going to... Uh, learn some things, enhance my skills as well. It is going to be a fun time. And look at these pretty wildflowers. They've had so much rain up here. They've started to get these pretty flowers. Mm -hmm. How beautiful. And there's another one over there. And I think this is part of what's going to make it fun is on the scavenger hunt, we have all sorts of things like that. We actually did not include the flowers, but she should get like a, a flower collecting badge because that's awesome. Let's go find our spot that we're going to be staying at for the next few days and uh, really set up our, our main camp. And of course, dad's got to have some fishing close by. Cactus. Yeah, we have those back in Texas. Oh, glad daddy didn't hit those with the tires last night. <laughs> Back in the mountains. Oh, it's my happy place. It has become my happy place. You look ready. <laughs> I you am can, ready. You can tell, like, when I a prepped. girl gets that <laughs> outfit, she's looking forward to it. So we had a little bit of a, a cattle situation this morning. I stayed behind to make Emmy some breakfast, and Dad and Emmy went to go pick some wildflowers and go on a hike. So I'm cooking there. I'm, I'm sitting there by the camp cooking breakfast, and all of a sudden, I see like two little eyeballs peek over the hill and it's a cow. I'm like, oh no, here they come. In this, in this national forest, there are co there's cows everywhere because I guess the cow ranchers use this. Then like 50 more of them come over the hill and they start coming over because they smell. I was making Emmy some toast with some butter. I mean, I'm telling you, within minutes, they smelt it and they came running. So I started like immediately putting all the food away and then, and then you come Dang. over the hill. Just just when you think it's all over. Camp commander comes over the hill with Emmy on my shoulders. Saves the day. And all's good. 
All is good. Oh, saw my first chipmunk. Oh, that's on our scavenger hunt. Okay, I'm gonna roll down the window so you can see it when we pass, okay? That's a mule deer doe. You see her? Look where I'm looking. Yeah, there you go. You got that one. <laughs> Okay, you got your, your mule deer, <laughs> part of your scout, your scouting, scouting scavenger hunt, you got it. <laughs> Little help from mom and dad there. Amy's first look out over the mountain, we're, we're making a quick stop. We are climbing way, 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 way high where the aspens are starting to change. Starting to turn a little yellow. God, there be gorgeous. Be careful, don't, don't walk over the edge. Way. Look at that, Amy. Yeah, we're not done, we're going even higher. We have made it. Man, looks like a Chevy commercial. Going places. Find new roads. Find new roads. Look at this. Uh, Amy, what do you think about this? What do you think about the mountains? The kai. The cows. The coyotes. I mean, the cows. The cows. The You've cows. had an experience with the cows today yep. so far. We had cows come in our other camp, but we made a we made a decision to to move. Try to find. This is the spot where me and you camped years my years very of, first time your very first time coming up here special memories for you mm -hmm. it's just a prime spot it's right by the lake you know go down there get your trout bring them back to camp we got uh fire rings already established right here there's uh some deadfalls so there's firewood opportunities there's a little creek right over here you can also you know wash things if you need to wash your dishes and and stuff like that if you really want to um, or just collect water if you need if you need water for the camp, which we are going through tons of it being up here. I've been drinking water like crazy. If you guys ever go up to the mountains around 8,000 feet plus, make sure to drink a lot of water as you're going in. Uh, two years ago, Stephanie got sick because uh, she wasn't hydrating enough uh, on the way in. So, and I can tell I'm I'm more out of breath than I am in Texas, man. It it feels good to be up here. It's nice and cool. It's like 57, 58 degrees right now. We are starting to get some flies and some yellow jackets and stuff like that come out. What we're gonna do now is set up the Opus. Um, before I left, I kind of did a walkthrough video, but I'll show you guys how uh, I set up the Opus once once we get it parked. And the first thing you got to do is get this thing level, because when it'll kind of look level, and if you go to sleep. And it's not level it is not comfortable plus with the shower you want all that water to drain down the center as much as possible and not pull up in places so getting level is important and i got these little uh these little ramps you just stick them under the one of the tires and you get it to come up you know this is easy because it's a single axle so i just put one under there I had stephanie watch the level until i rolled up on it and it looked level which we are we're looking good right there. Another tip I'll give you guys, just getting in here. If you've got a, a long travel on a, say a logging road or mountain roads, basically when you get off the pavement and you've got sharp rocks like we do up here uh, in the Rockies, always a good idea to deflate your tires on the way in. I know that sounds weird, but the more you deflate your tires, the the better chance it gives you to roll over a rock and not have a puncture i've seen a lot of people have uh, on the side of the road with tire issues they've busted tires me and stephanie have had to help people before um, so what i do is i carry a, a small mini pump i keep it in my truck and i'll deflate the tires with a pressure gauge get them all the same i'll do the same thing on the opus on the trailer um, and I'll take about 10, 15, maybe 20 PSI out, uh, just depending on the tire. 
uh, that'll be a number one, a smoother ride for you, be more enjoyable. And then also uh, it, it will decrease your chances of having a tire puncture dramatically. If you guys are doing any truck camping, anything like that, um, you can get a small pump and it's helpful on your way out. Just air them back up before you get on the highway. There's a lot of bugs here. I, whoa. Ah. It's been so rainy here that I think that the bugs are going to be kind of bad. Uh, it won't be bad in the mornings and the evenings, but midday when it's heating up, flies are going to be bad. Bees are going to be bad. All right, going up. Got the wheels chalked, double chalked. That's a little scary. That got a little scary. I'm glad I chalked the tires. So I picked up a cheap little impact wrench off Amazon. I think it was under 60 bucks. But it makes changing tires easy and then lowering these jacks very easy. So let's see. This is Australian, so got to go the other way. Maybe go down. All right, we're bracing the front and back. Now we're going to open the top. Just undo these levers. This back one gets a little tricky because it's up high. <sighs> one more. Oh man, it's so nice in the shade. Had to go into the, uh, into the shorts, to the Guggen shorts. We're getting hot. So this is the part where we just pop the camper up. There's so much light in this Opus. You know, it's a hard camper, but it's kind of like a hybrid. You have that soft shell on the upper part. So it still feels like you're sleeping in a tent at night at times. But it's nice when you can just open these vents up, let that cool air in. Don't forget the bathroom. Definitely don't want to forget the bathroom. This is awesome right here. Unzipping. And then look at the view. Like, look what you're looking at. It's just awesome. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want to wake up to that in the morning? That's good stuff. That fills the soul. Shoo! All right, we're midway through setting up camp, and I hear something down here. Something big. Amy's collecting dandelions. I thought I'd take a bite out of one. It's either going to be a moose, a cow, or a bear. Lord knows it's not an elk. Of course it could be, since I don't have a bow with me. And I didn't get a tag up here this year. I see it in the woods. It's a big, furry... Cow. <laughs> now next step is me and OSG have to roll out our bedroom because I slept on the top bunk last night and we were just kind of spiking out. I got cold. I did not sleep well. It got cold up on the top because I was like literally right up against that thing. Whew, out of breath. Oh my gosh. And I gave the girls the nice cozy bottom bunk right next to the heater and it was it was very nice. Oh, I was nice and toasty. But tonight, we're rolling out the back. Then me and OSG, we're gonna have a window back here and we're gonna be overlooking the woods over this drop off, which is pretty cool. There's a couple of deadfall looking trees that could, could hit us, but we're not gonna be in a tent. So, we got a hard top, I think we'll be all right. Awning, coming right up. Oh yeah. Middle of the day, you know, a good six, seven hours, we're gonna be getting direct sun on top of our solar panels, which are directly on top of the roof. I can't even reach up there to show you guys right now. Just running the fridge. I've got a freezer running right now and a refrigerator. So we got our frozen soups and chilies, cinnamon rolls, all that good stuff. And then our fresh fruits and vegetables. We are ready to go. In the kitchen, well, that's the easiest part about this whole get up. Just 
rolls right out. That's our kitchen. Water to the sink. Wah-bam. Propane on. Now we're cooking with Crisco. I typically keep all the, the immediates right here. There's some pots and pans, but you got to get that coffee in the morning. You're ready to go. Got some skillets in there, spices. Now, interesting little backstory to this morning. We were coming back, me and, me and uh, Emmy were on a little walk. OSG, she was like, oh, I'm gonna make some coffee. I was like, oh, great. Eggs and coffee when I get back in. Came back and the French press was on the burner. Like trying to boil it with the beans in there and uh, had to shut it down. And her, her coffee privileges are, are done. You haven't had your coffee. coffee. Honey, this is why I'm here. I'm, I'm the coffee commander as well as the camp commander on this excursion. And I will take care of your coffee needs. You want, you want a little French press? Might taste a little painty at this point. Got you though. You want an espresso? Got you. You, you, need, a, you need a shot? All right, honey. Ready to make our bedroom? <laughs> Dusty. I'm so low back here. I can get higher on this side right here. There we go. Try not to get all the flies in here. Oh yeah, let's do it fast. <sighs> okay, now. Now we're cooking. Yay! Oh. In the kitchen. In the great outdoors. What you cooking up? Well. That's not mold on there, is it? No. It's on the bottom it's of that. That's street corn. That's straight up corn from the American Chili's. classic <laughs> Chili's restaurant that we saved from the way yeah. up here. I don't tell them about it. I just homemade they street corn. They deserve to know the truth. We're having a little uh, little midday <laughs> corn cob, a little espresso. You were, uh, we about I'm a, sorry, I'm out of steam. I you, need Yeah, you need caffeine. something. She about ripped my head off a while ago because she was like, what did you do? with the pot, you know, the one with the handle. And I was like, well, which one? I have a lot. And she was like, the one you always carry that, that we that? make. Oh yeah, you started shuffling and <laughs> flopping the hands. I need it. Yes. And uh, I just couldn't think of it. And then finally I thought of it. You were freaking out because <laughs> you thought like, that's the only way we can make coffee. It's how we're going to cook all our food. Well, and wait, backtrack. First of all, you told them that you shut down my coffee experiment this morning. Yes. 100%. So I never got my coffee when my taste buds were already like almost drinking it. Oh. So I've been in a bad mood ever since because I just needed that. Well, we're going to save you here. We're going to save you. So we actually don't need an additional pot here with the, uh, with the Belletti. So we're doing midday espressos in the montanas mm -hmm. with corn on the cob. And, and uh, some hot dogs. And some, some dogs, man. <laughs> well, the corn Nothing of the cob is yours. We're doing hot dogs and some fruit. Emmy wanted an apple. So we're actually going to eat inside because of all these bees and bugs. There's a lot, yeah. The so bees and the bugs. I actually set up the kitchen table in there, which I normally don't use, but we're, we're trying to keep these flies. you got to get in quick. Yeah. Send it out. Send it out. Go, go, go. And our little tater tot, I don't know what she's doing but she's having fun. She loves to collect, she loves to explore, and there's really no better place. At, at our house, it's, it's pretty good. We have a lot of things, but she's kind of explored the limits. So she's finding new rocks. She's finding new sorts of trees. These are all things that she doesn't really remember when she was two years old. Espresso's close, honey. And uh, I never had breakfast as well. I'm on, I'm on like an elk hunting uh, diet right now. Like I'm ready to sit down midday, when the elk are bedded and just I'm ready to feast up on a mountain house right now. Okay, except I'm getting corn on the cob. Can 
going to enter the, the present, the, the premises, now that you've had your coffee? Yes. And, I've and had my coffee. I have vacuumed. I... <laughs> you've... Oh, I'm yeah, really yeah. really not this high maintenance, guys. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. no. Happy wife, happy life. You know what I'm saying? The table, we, we just put in the table this afternoon. I, I had this table out of it for like a year. We just had a lunch. Three, uh, three of us sitting yeah. here. It was pretty good. We've never used it before either. Going no leg underneath to support. It's, uh, it was nice We're having the flies and everything. Show them, you know, where the magic. Well, come on over here. A couple steps over. It's not over. happening this week <laughs> with a toddler in the camper. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so you put a bit, a mattress topper on top of this. This is our first time using an actual mattress topper. I would highly recommend it. What do you think? Uh, yes. Game changer. This is my first time with it. And I immediately sat down and I could, I could take a nap. It does, that's, it's a king size bed, but it's like, it's not a great bed. It's really not. As thick as it is, you'd think it'd be like cloud worthy. No. But it's really not. No. So definitely get that topper. That mattress topper. I don't know how thick that was. I got it off Amazon. And you're going to actually put like flannel sheets on? Is that what um, you're doing? Well, actually the flannel sheets are for the bunks because they fit a full. Darn. I yeah. wanted the flannels. Actually, no, the flannels are queen. So ours are these, and we get like a nice little cover, like a duvet cover type thing. Okay, we're full set up. Well, then. yeah, we're full set up. Don't worry. This is the burrow when you want to get cozy on this thing. So that's the spot. So that's that's where Amy's sleeping tonight. Me and OSG got that set up, and uh, before we uh, before we head to bed, where we're gonna have our magic s'mores dinner and all that great stuff head out here to the campfire area. You getting our campfire area ready? Hey, hey, I spot something. What'd you see? I saw you. It's a... What'd you see in there? No, 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 Already got the unicorns it's ready. It's a bee. Oh, a bee. Yeah, don't swat those bees, honey. I'm not. Those, those bees might come after you. Now this is going to be dinner with a view tonight and of course we got amy's little chair from bucky's you like that little chair you're always sitting at that and that at home mm -hmm. her little chair you know she doesn't need much comfort mom and dad full comfort these are the chairs that i pack that are a pain to pack but osg can you can you recline in this one right here i've already got it do you remember when you got, bought these these were um you gave these to me for mother's day Mother's Day comforts. Uh, Look at that. I could I could take a nap right here. Like if you got oh man <laughs> comfortable conditions. I mean that Woo! is. Oh my god. You could literally you could lay all the way back. It's so nice. <laughs> but they're just they're so awkward to pack. Oh but, well, I mean, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> don't tip me oh, over. <laughs> don't knock, knock mommy over. <laughs> We just got her jazzed up with that coffee. <laughs> Look at the bouquet. I Look got a bouquet. bouquet, man. It might as well be Mother's Day. Sitting right? in your Mother's Day chair. Where's with my the, wine? Uh, I got well, some espresso tonight, from Dad and flowers tonight, from Emmy. Tonight, we're gonna we're gonna break it out. <laughs> Don't break that up. <laughs> and this is where I'm gonna leave you guys for this video. We are fully set up on our off-road adventure, off-grid, overland uh, camping. This is this is how we're doing it this year and I feel pretty good about it. We are set up to thrive for the next four days. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the outdoor action. And if any of y'all have kids, uh, we're gonna be doing some, some cool scavenger hunting and fun activities that I think, uh, I think it'll be fun for the whole family. I'm, a, I'm honestly pretty excited about it. And I got fishing videos coming up. OSG's making cinnamon rolls one of these mornings. Come on with it. Hee! And we're just enjoying the great outdoors. So smash that like button for that. And I hope you're breathing in some of that fresh, delicious outdoor air. I'll see you guys on the next one.